Let's set up a Blackmagic Decklink board as a video input into an Unreal Engine level. This is Unreal Engine version 4.25 running on a PC. Since it is 4.25, the Blackmagic plugin is built in. So if I go to the plugins window and choose built in and search for the word black, I will get my Blackmagic design and it is already enabled. So we are good to go there. Let's also double check that video is indeed going into the Decklink board. So I'm just going to run Blackmagic's native Media Express software. Tap the Windows key, type in Express, and there is Blackmagic Media Express that's installed along with the drivers and other desktop software from Blackmagic. And since this is the native software, we should have no problem. And sure enough, there it is. Just wave there, and there is the uh, SDI live feed going into the Blackmagic board. So that is working, and we have a live feed. Let's get that set up in Unreal Engine. All we need to do is add a media bundle to the Unreal level. So I will right click on our content area, choose media, and then find media bundle. Let's give this a name, BMD for Blackmagic Design input. When I hit enter, I'll also get a folder full of extra content that is building into this bundle. But I can uh, you know, take a look inside here. There's a material, there's a texture, there's a media input, etc. Uh, I can configure that all from the bundle itself. So I can just double click here, take a look at the result. In this media bundle, we need to select a media source. So I'll click on that and choose Black Magic Media Source. Then I have additional options. I'll dial this down for Black Magic and simply choose the configuration. In this case, I have my Decklink 4K Pro installed. The video going into that is 1080p progressive at 24 frames a second. Every one of these settings needs to match exactly, otherwise the video won't show up in Unreal Engine. So if you select your uh, parameters here and you're getting nothing, just double check that the video going into your Decklink board is indeed an exact match in terms of resolution, progressive or interlaced standard, as well as the exact frame rate. So I'll apply that. And finally, this particular video is going in at uh, sRGB color space. So if I expand this, I can choose is sRGB input to make sure that everything looks correct. All right, we'll save that, close. And then I should be able to just drag that bundle right out into my level. Hit W to move it up, R to, sc uh, R to scale it up. There we are. And this is live. I can move around and wave, and that's wonderful. Now, if I want to put this video onto some other geometry other than the plane that's defaulted by this Blackmagic bundle, I can actually just feed the texture from this to a different material. So let me go into this set of assets, and I'm going to right-click and create a new material. So I'll just choose material, and with that, I will double-click. Here is the definition for the material. I'm just going to drag the input media texture here. Bring that in here. And just drag the sRGB to the base color as well as the emissive color. And then save those changes. With all of that, I should be able to apply that material. Here's my new material onto any other object on this level. And I should have live video on that. So let's just pull out a sphere, for example. W, raise that up. R, scale it up. And then I will drag my new material right onto that sphere. And sure enough, again, that is live uh, and that's all working. Uh, one note is that if I delete this bundle from the level, uh, I lose the live video feed into the material. So I'm going to keep that bundle out here and that'll make everything live. Uh, but if I don't want to show this, all I have to do is go over here in my world outliner, right click on that bundle and uh, basically hide it. So visibility and hide selected. There we go. So it's still in the level. It's still updating the material as you can see, but now it's not showing up uh, so that we have everything working. So that is it. We have our Blackmagic input working on the level. Hope that helps. Until next time, have fun.